Hello and welcome back to another computer sluggish tutorial. So today we're going to be taking a look at Sigma OS. So this is the final ever release of the operating system, which you may well know as Longhorn. So this was originally going to be the operating system instead of Windows Vista. But obviously it got scrapped and they released Windows Vista instead. So we're going to go ahead and try it out today. So first things first, you need to download the um, ISO by going to one of the links here. Um, as you can see and you may need to install the mega add-on to your web browser to be able to download the ISO so once you've done that and you've got the ISO we're now going to open up our Oracle virtual box and we're going to go to new so once you've selected new we are going to name this as Longhorn so once you've called it Longhorn we want to select Microsoft Windows and we want to go with we're going to go with other Windows 64 bit. So we're now going to go next and I'm just going to give us a gig of memory. So that's 1000 megabytes and we're going to go next and we want to create a virtual hard disk now. So we're going to go create and we're going to select the VHD option. So you now need to select next again and next on dynamically allocated and we're just going to go create. So once you've done that and we've got our little Longhorn virtual machine set up here, you now need to go to your storage section here and we need to select a optical drive and we want to select our disk image which is the Sigma OS and we're going to go open. So now you should have here for optical drive Sigma OS 3.0.iso. So we can now start our virtual machine by pressing the start button up the top here. And I'm just going to maximize this so you can see what's going on. So as you can see Windows Longhorn is now loading. So we're going to be able to install the operating system now. So first you should hopefully have a window that looks like this. I'm just going to zoom this out a tad. There we go. So we want to select install now. And as you can see the setup is starting. So welcome to Windows Setup. So you are about to install a pre-release version of the product code named Microsoft Windows Longhorn. So this is... Um, intended for evaluation purposes only so we can go continue now okay so now all you need to do is copy this product key here so the example sticker so we just need to go tcp 8w dash t a p q j dash w w r r h dash q h 7 6 c 99 FBW. So once you've done that, you can now hit OK. And we're going to go yes to the terms and conditions. And we're just going to continue and continue. So now we can select our unallocated space. So we're going to select that and we're just going to go new. And we're going to hit apply. So now we've created a partition that we can install our Longhorn operating system to. So we're just going to go continue now and it's just going to do its business now. It's just going to install all the necessary files and the operating system to our new virtual machine. So I'm just going to fast forward this video now. Okay, so you should now have a screen that looks like the following. So we now need to go control alt delete and once you've done that we can now select administrator. So now Longhorn is logging in and as you can see it's founded some new hardware but I'm just going to go cancel for now. And this is Windows Longhorn. So this is what it looks like. It's, it is cool. I do like it to be honest. I mean you've got a cool little sidebar here which you can obviously get in Windows Vista. There's the old um, 
let's see, we can put a clock up here. We can click on more options. We can go news feeds. We can put in a slideshow if we want. Um, if we go on to start and open up my computer. So let's just go on to control panel. So this is what control panel was going to look like. So obviously it does look a tad different. It's a bit more, I don't know, a bit more funky looking. And that's what your main drive looks like. So yeah, it, it is fairly similar to what Windows Vista is actually like. But obviously it's a little bit different. So that is it. That is how you install Windows Longhorn on um, a virtual machine. We've got a few screensavers here as well. Let's just go there. Preview. Okay, so it's just a logo. But yeah, so that is it. So I hope this tutorial helped. If it did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.